I'm Jessie Day from Lily Shop and this is HGTV Handmade. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY desk caddy. And here is ours right here. It is four layers and we use two different types of sea foam green. Well, this one's more like an aqua, a hot pink and a peach. This one in particular is 18 inches long and I'm using one inch pine, it's three inches wide, and they were all cut down from a six foot plank. And we are going to stack four planks high so we can do a deep desk caddy. That way my scissors can fit in here and my pencils. So first thing first, we need the wood, the one inch planks, and we're going to need paint to do the colors later with paint brushes. We're going to need wood glue, safety goggles, and we're going to need some gritty sandpaper, pencil, and a drill with a one quarter inch Forstner bit. I'm going to take the first plank and add our glue. I have not sanded this wood yet. We had them cut it at the hardware store, so it is rough on the edges, but once it's all glued, I will sand it all in one piece. So I'm just going to glue the wood together. All right. This glue needs to dry for 24 hours. So don't expect to make this caddy in one day. This glue takes a while to dry. So make sure they're all stacked up properly. Take your clamps. And then I'm going to get a wet paper towel and I'm just gonna wipe off some of the glue. You would let this sit for 24 hours before you remove the clamps, okay? So I have one that has already set and is completely done. We've removed the clamps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this one over so I can work. So here's the piece that's already been done and we're going to sand this one first. It's a little rough on the sides. So you just want to sand it down. All right, so you just want to make sure it's smooth to the touch and there's no splinters. We're going to just start with one circle and once that one's drilled, we're going to do the other one about an inch and a quarter apart. If you start marking off all your circles and you mess up, you're going to freak out. So it's best to just know where you're beginning and where you're starting and then go from there. So I'm going to clamp this down Typically, I would do this outside or in the garage on a lower table, so I wasn't up above drilling. We'll see how this works for today in my kitchen because it's easier to film in here, but I would recommend doing this outside or somewhere uh, with a normal height table. Make sure you wear your goggles. And again, I'm not authorizing anyone to do this in their kitchen, except for me. So we're just finishing the first hole, and you can see it's about, well, you can't see, but take my word for it, it's about two inches deep, so you can put pens in there. Go a little bit deeper once I get the sawdust out. So I'm gonna start on the next hole, and I already drew it out. It's a quarter, an inch and a quarter away from the first one. So I marked it, and I started the hole. I'm gonna do the same with the next one. One inch and a quarter. So I know where I'm going. All right. Now we're going to do the third hole and I'm gonna keep going. Drilled all the holes. If you have a super powerful drill, it'll take about a half hour to get all of your holes fully drilled, about two and a half inches deep. I recommend a drill that plugs in and not a battery operated drill. And then what we're going to do after this is you're going to take your sandpaper 
and you're just going to, I'm sorry, I'm like eating sawdust. <laughs> okay, is you're going to just sand inside each of the little holes. And that's just because the drill made it a little bit rough and if you're putting your hands in there to get a pencil out, you don't want to get a splinter. Just smooth it out. Okay, so what you're going to do after you drill it and sand it is you're going to get a wet towel and you're just going to ever so lightly take off all the dust. And this is just so when you paint it, it's not all dirty. And then this is ready to go. So you can stain this. You can do a whitewash. You don't have to do different colors. I did different colors on here, so I wanna show you the easiest way to do that is to use masking tape. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start at the bottom and you're going to put masking tape right at the edge of the last plank. When I paint it, you can see that you can go a little bit on the tape. See as I would go down? And then when you're done, you can just peel off the tape and that way it doesn't bleed under the tape and it doesn't get into the next plank. So it's very easy, paint it, pull up the tape and then move the tape up to the next one until you have all four different colors. If you didn't wanna do different colors, you don't have to do that step. You can just paint the entire thing or stain the entire thing. You can shellac it, gloss it. They have really cool crackle glosses now that'll give it like a whole crackle effect. So just get creative, you know? I'm sure whatever you do will be lovely. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to this channel, which is HGTV Handmade, as well as my channel, which is Lily Shop. And if you make this desk caddy, make sure to either email me a picture or find me on my website, lilyshop.com, or you can tag me on Instagram and that way I can repost it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.